I mean, open, open fires and stoves have been very popular for years now. But with the increasing cost of energy, people are now calling on us in places like Manchester, Liverpool, Stockport, Wigan, and saying, can you open up our old fireplaces? We've been here for 10 years. We've not ever used our open fire. It's a period property. But they've, they've said, can you please um, come sweep, inspect and test the chimney because we want to use it this winter? OK, so uh, wanting to make that investment, because I presume that in itself, quite an expensive outlay, but worthwhile in the long run. What would it cost to open up a, a disused fireplace and clean it out and make sure it was safe to run this winter? Well, it, it, can, it can vary, obviously, what part of the country you're in. But, it, but essentially, you should be looking at to, between maybe two to three hundred pounds to have it checked and tested. If, of course, there's repair works that needed, like the chimneys lining, or anything like that, you can be, you can be looking uh, well in excess of that, maybe two, maybe two, three, or four times as much as that, depending on the area of the country that you're in and the type of property top property that you have. But the thing that what what most people want is they want energy security. They actually want to be able to essentially go off grid and not rely on gas, and they don't want to have to rely on a a, a meter that's wearing round under their stairs, maybe, and they've got no idea how much it's costing. And basically, they get a bill at the, at the end of the, the month and they think, oh, no, am I going to pay this? They actually want to be able to take control of their own finances and solid fuel allows you to do that. Yeah, well, it does, no doubt about it. And I, I guess it also shows a, a change of mindset, exactly what I've been saying at home as well. You, know, you, you heat the front room, keep the doors shut, and the, you know, the, re the rest of the, of the time you're stuck with hot water bottles. Mm what I'm doing now. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, go on. I mean, Go on, sorry. At, at, at the end of the day, um, our trade is essentially a 19th century trade, but we're, we're fit for purpose in the 21st century. And the reason is that people are actually finding that the old ways are the best ways in many cases. Certainly with, sol with solid fuel, if you burn responsibly, you know, I'm, I'm the co-founder of Burn Right, which is a national consumer campaign, burnright.co.uk. I implore everyone who's got a wood burner and open fire to go on, have a look at that website because it gives you lots of hints and tips to be able to burn responsibly. There's obviously issues around um, uh, wood burning appliances if you don't use them properly. But used properly, they can be a great source of energy. And of course, if you source your wood close to home and burn it in a responsible way, it can be a carbon neutral act. I mean, we're, we're so busy, we're actually taking on more staff. I mean, you know, just two years ago, I was a one person band and now we've got staff. And this week we're actually recruiting for more staff. We're completely overrun with customers wanting to get us as quickly as possible. So we're basically, it's a case of we need more staff. You know, team sweeping, it's actually a great career. <laughs> you know, I mean, people don't think of it as a career, but it is, you can, you can go from, Basically, just owning a wood burn on, or maybe not even have seen a chimney, and you can learn how important it is. There's some great associations out there that will train you, um, and you can get good experience with companies like ours or other, other, other companies. But at the end of the day, uh, the, the, the need is there, um, yeah. and Mr. Such a Street, we're here to serve it. Yeah, and you say being a chimney yeah. sweep is a 19th century job. I mean, in those days, fireplaces were used for so much, weren't they? Children were bathed in front of them, clothes were dried beside them, uh, teapots were, you know, kettles were heated on them. I mean, during oh, your toast. career, yeah, toast. toast, marshmallows, whatever it might be. Well, that's more modern. That's more modern. Um, what, what have you seen people using fires for in the modern era? And, you know, in, give people ideas of what else they can, they can use their, heat, their fireplace for besides heating. I mean, at the end of the day, it's just such a it's such a great resource to have because you can turn it on when you want it on. You can turn it off when you when you don't want it. There's no there's no standing charges or or anything like that, um, and and it's just a, a fantastic thing to to have in your home. It looks lovely, you know. A, a lot of people, you know, ten years ago they were um, do uh, put putting them in for aesthetic reasons, which is absolutely great. But now they're actually seeing that these are actually much more than just nice to look at. They're actually something which certainly this winter is going to be a important part, if not the most important part, of keeping their home warm.